Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Dehina with Missing Those Lego Robotics. I haven't seen you guys in a while. How you been? So this video today is going to be about something I looked at and I was like, oh no. So if you guys have not seen, um, June 30th, 2021, the EV3 is supposed to just be retired. You heard me right. Retired. 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 And so I was just, I was checking out some things. I know that my classes are supposed to get bigger and who knows when I'm going to get into the classroom again, but I just know that around my area, you know, it's just houses are getting put up. I know I'm going to get more students. So I'm thinking, okay, you know, am I going to need to get more EV3s? And then I'm starting to pop up and seeing these retiring soon signs. And so I'm just going, oh no, what's going on here? So, you know, you can kind of have seen the writing on the wall. You know, the NXT lasted for about seven years. And then I was kind of doing the math and I was thinking, okay, I know that the EV3 came in around 2013. And so I'm thinking, okay, you know what? I can see how the, you know, these, you know, robotics systems with Lego are, you know, come in and, you know, usher on a new thing. And, you know, obviously with Spike Prime in the inventor, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, you know what, it's not going to last that much longer. And so it was just one of those things where I didn't want to believe it. I think I was in denial. Yep. Denial. And so I was just like, no, I think it'll be around forever. And, you know, it was just wishful thinking. So what I want to do in this video today is just kind of let you know what, you know, you're, you should expect to see. And for some of you, you might be thinking, oh, what do I do then? You know, where do I go from here? And it kind of depends if you're a student, if you're a teacher, there's different ways to kind of think this through. So I'm going to go ahead and first just again, talk about the EV3. Um, it was the thing that I started with back in 2015 when I started to teach robotics. And I'm just going to be honest with you, man, I'm just have been the EV3 you know, supporter, um, just when, when Spike Prime came out, you know, it's kind of one of those, yeah, what you got, you know, you, you can't be better than the EV3. And it was just one of those things where I have such loyalty to the EV3 because, you know, I didn't know anything else. I came into robotics after the NXT and it was just one of those things where EV3 was just around for so much. And it was just so much of a, you know, when you're first learning something, you just kind of get attached to it. And you're like, yeah, I'm getting it. You know, different things just are so cool with it. And so, you know, my, my heart has been just strapped to EV3. And with all the projects, competitions, first Lego League, it was just one of those things where it has brought me so much joy. So I guess that's the reason why when I saw that, the Mindstorms EV3 was going to be retired soon. Just a part of my heart just went, no, you know, I just, you know, it, I'm, I know I'm going to have it forever. I know that I'm still going to be able to use it, still have my students work with it, but it just felt like the, this draining part of my body going, no, I don't want to see that gone forever. So if you guys are wondering what's going to happen when it retires, so what's going to happen is Lego Education is no longer going to supply this after June 30th, 2021. So, you know, you still can get it from, you know, Amazon. I'm sure you can still get it from other places that sell the EV3. But once their supply is gone, that's it. So it's just one of those things where you're sitting there going, well, what am I going to do? So for those of you that teach robotics, um, what does this mean for you? It just means that, you know, if you're doing EV3, you're just not going to be able to obviously get more supply. If you're getting new students, now you're going to have to figure out, okay, we're going to go Spike Prime, we're going to go Inventor or some other type of robotics platform. So it's just one of those things where, you know, for my class, if I get more students and I'm starting to run out of EV3, now you can see the problem. It's like, uh, what do I do now? And so... I'm going to have to now send some of my students by Primeway, Inventor. But if you guys remember, I have the issue with the software. So that's another issue for me is the laptops in my room. Don't judge me here. Um, they only run Windows 7. 
and so the Spike Prime and Inventor are running Windows 10. So now I'm having to figure out, okay, so what's going to happen here? So it's one of those things where now I'm going to have to figure out, okay, can I get the software to do Spike Prime and Inventor if I get those? Because right now I have about 10 Spike Prime, which should be okay to, if I have any overflow students, again, if I ever get back to the classroom. Um, to have my students run that, but now I'm having to figure out, okay, how do they run the software with that? So before we shut down, I was having my students like asking if they can bring in their iPads or things like that to run the software, but it's just going to be one of those things where I'm going to have to figure this out. You know, if we ever get back to the classroom again, you know, what do I do about the Spike Prime and Inventor? So my, my brain is probably running like yours is what do we do now? Do we go in Inventor, Spike Prime? So it's just one of those things where, you know, you're going to have to figure out what best suits your needs. Okay, so now what we're going to do is think about um, as far as first Lego League, um, EV3 should be acceptable for a while. I mean, shoot, last year I was going to competition seeing NXT and, you know, that, that has been gone for a while now, too. So it's one of those things where, for those of you doing first LEGO League, I wouldn't worry about the EV3. I did see something about in certain parts of the United States where they weren't allowing EV3. But I don't know. You're going to have to probably look that up, up for yourselves. Maybe ask your representatives if EV3 will stay around. But for those of us in Southern California, EV3 is going to be around for a while. Um, you know, it's, I don't think that's something you need to worry about. Um, but you know, you're going to have to start now maybe thinking in the direction now of Spike Prime or Inventor for First Lego League is for those of you that might be starting off where EV3 has been a thing of the past and you're just getting into it. Now you're going to have to be thinking, okay, forget it. We're going Spike Prime or Inventor and not EV3 if you're going to, your resources are going to be limited. So it's, it's, again, another one of those things where it'll be sad to go to a competition and start seeing all these new Spike Prime and Inventor robots going, where in the world did the EV3s go? Okay, guys, so I don't know how you feel about this right now. Um, I'm kind of thinking, gee, are all the EV3s that I have suddenly now going to be worth more money now? Just kidding. I'm not going to resell that stuff. I mean, but right now I do have brand new EV3 bricks that have never been used before. I'm like, ooh, should I like hang on to this in like 10 years from now to be worth $1,000? Again, I'm just messing around. Those are those belong to my school, belong to the students. And I'm just going to, you know, my philosophy is probably like your guys is I'm going to use up every ounce of resources I have to just make sure our students are, you know, just learning the best they can with the best equipment they can. Uh, but I now am having to think about where we're gonna go with our robotics program. Um, I'm gonna continue to use the EV3 be just because that's the most I have right now. Um, and still we're using the laptops which have the software. And you know, that's just, I have tons and tons of EV3 stuff. So it's one of those things where I have to go with that but yes, as I start to move forward with more students, I'm going to have to think, okay, if EV3 is not there, I'm going to have to start pushing my students toward the EV3, I'm sorry, the Spike Prime or the Inventor. So now I guess the discussion can be over because so many of you guys ask me, hey, I'm going to be getting a robotics kit. Should I get the EV3 or, you know, the Spike Prime or Inventor? After June 30th, you won't have that question anymore unless you, again, you go to those third party vendors like Amazon or some other place that sells EV3. But, you know, you only have till June to get that or until they run out of the supply. So good luck on that. Um, so for some of you, that might answer your question. You might now go towards the newer kits. Um, but now your question is going to be inventor or Spike Prime. And really, I don't have an answer for you on that one. Although I really do like the inventor kit. Um, so anyway, guys, I just thought I would bring that to your attention. Um, I'm still trying to figure
figure this all out. I'm still a little sad that to see the EB3 go, but if I get to the classroom, I'll still see EB3 every day. And I'm still going to, you know, use those and videos to bring to you guys because that's what I'm most familiar with, but I can see myself moving towards the inventor. And I have been doing some spike prime things using some of those parts and pieces. So I really been enjoying those big base plates. Those are really kind of cool. And I wish the EV3 had something like that, but oh well. All right, guys, it's been fun chewing the fat here with you on the EV3. Hit me up in the comments section what you feel about the whole EV3 retirement. Um, but you know what? If I'm in the same boat as a lot of you guys are, I'm going to probably be forever a diehard EV3 fan, no matter what comes along, because... That's just where I was first introduced to robotics. And so it has a big old part of my heart for, you know, robotics. And yeah, that was just a cool time. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Missile Zyga Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.